Hello friends, welcome back to getting yourself organized with org mode, my little screencast about org mode. Today is Wednesday in week 4, that means episode 4, snippet 3, and we want to have a look at clocking, or also known as time tracking. You know, sometimes you want to know how much time does it take to complete a task. And you know all those fancy time trackers that are out, so many apps for the smartphone that you can start a timer and stop a timer, but honestly I tried them out. And uh, let me get my smartphone out, oh my god, where is that app? Oh, this app doesn't open because the smartphone is busy with something else and then now I have to uh, select the project and I have to start uh, the timer and uh, one or two minutes are already done. That's something I don't want. So org mode has a nice feature, a really nice feature where you can say, okay, look, I have a task here, that's task A and I want to know how much does it take to complete that task. So every time I'm working on this task, I just have to start my clock. Before that, I made a customization that my clogging info goes into a drawer that is called clogging. And now everything I have to do to start the timer is control C, control X and control I, clock in. And you see, after pressing the I, a drawer appeared that is called clogging. If we look at that, we just have one timestamp. This is the timestamp when the clock started. You already see it down here. The timer is at zero minutes at the moment because you can only clock complete minutes. It's not that you can clock 10 seconds or, or 20 seconds or 30 seconds. Uh, the, the minimum time that you have to work on a task that it's being clocked is one minute. And here you see where your timer is actually and here you see uh, what the description of this task is that you are currently clocking so you see I could go here or do something else in my org file or do something completely different and then when I want to come back to my clocking task let's uh, jump to the clock task control C control X control J control C control X control J okay here we are back at the task that we are clocking. Now you see one minute is done. So what can I do now? I can start uh, saying, okay, let me just uh, stop the clock. That's control C, X, O, clocked out. And now you see the clock stopped at 18.34 after two minutes. So I have a clocking info that is from this date 1832 to 1834 I work two minutes on the task. I can do the very same on this task. Let me start a clock here. Control C X I. Clock starts. You see we have the clocking folder again uh, and we just have to work on the task and we see what's happening. And this clocking feature is really really smart because uh, I mean you just have to press three keys when you are on your task that you want to clock and your clock starts and you can stop the clock anytime you want. You can even edit those timestamps. If you say oh my god I was already doing 10 minutes until I remembered I have to start the clock then you could write 1822 there and go here we can do it for just for, for demonstration purposes. We say it was 1822 when we started and now there's still two minutes but if we press Control c twice then the total time is uh, recalculated and now it's uh, saying 12 minutes into that task. If you see down here we are one minute into that task I could stop it now or Let's do it. Control C, X, O, clocked out. You see this one is at 1 minute, this one is at 12 minutes because we messed up a bit with the timestamps. If you start the clock by accident, could be that you say Control 
CXI, oh my god, I started the clock, I didn't want, control CXQ and the clock info is forgotten. The other thing, uh, when you want to restart the clock, you can restart the latest clock that you used with control CXX. Or you can restart with a menu that you say control E, control C, X, X. And now you see recent tasks where my life uh, task A or task B. Let's pretend we want to go on with task B. You see, I press the 2, task B is going to be clocked again. We have another timestamp for the starting time. And the timer is running. Here you see the complete time. You see it says show, showing entire task time, it's not showing the time here since you uh, started the clock the last time. It's computing up uh, how much time you completely spent on the task and that's uh, showing here. So we have, let's wait a bit for two minutes to appear, shouldn't take that long. We started at 18.36, now it's 18.37. So we can pretend uh, we are working on the task and then the co-worker comes and says oh my god um, I want you to be can you help me on the other task you can press then control U CXI and now you see currently I'm clocking task B but I have to switch to task A so task A is 2 yeah I'm here I have my, my minute done I'm talking to the co-worker, look we have to do this and that and that and that. And so uh, we can work and then at the end I say con co-worker is gone, is satisfied. At the end I say control C, X, I. Uh, continuing, no, control U, C, X, I. Okay, now the task interrupted at the last time you were at task B and currently you are on task A. You can press the E that you return to the last tab, uh, task that you in were interrupted from. So press I and we have a clock here. And if the clock is, let's stop it, CXO. You see if the, the start time and the end time is the same, you just have zero minutes that are summing up. So you see that was, was really easy and every time you work on a task you get a timestamp. Uh, one for the start and one for the end and it computes your uh, total time. So you have a record of all your clocking information. Now you say okay what's that good for? I mean uh, I have to sum this up and if I have 20 or, or whatever uh, clocking infos then it's a mess. To sum that up, that's true. So, let me, let me show you something. I'm going here. Control uh, or we are on this task. Whatever. Control C X D. Display clocking info. Now you see task A and task B. We have two minutes. Task A. We have 13 minutes because here we have the 12 minutes that we faked a bit before and here. We have one minute from just uh, before and here this is a real uh, complete copy of uh, my personal org file entry for episode 4 and I'm actually clocking what I'm doing. You So you see the brainstorming as a clocking entry. It took me 12 minutes to uh, make the agenda for episode uh, 4 and then snippet 1 took me 40 minutes completely setting up everything was 25 minutes recording uh, the thing with uh, vocal screen was 8 minutes and upload to YouTube was 7 minutes the same the yesterday uh, lesson about timers I had to set up the stage for 10 minutes 7 minutes in recording 6 minutes in uploading and today I already spent uh, Fifth, where are we? Oh my god, here we are. Clocking your work, setting up the stage. No, we, we don't have that here. I, I don't have the timestamp here. It's on my other thing. I copied it too early. But uh, at the end of the week, I will show you.
practically how much time I spent on the complete episode 4 with everything I had scheduled here. So you see, it's hierarchical. Uh, if you collapse that headlines, then you see the whole project. So far for episode 4, I spent 1 hour and 30 minutes. And if I want to go down, uh, first snippet was 40 minutes, the one with timer was just 23. And the column view intro. Oh, I I'm, I'm did the uh, thing on the wrong. That's, that's the problem here. We are on the wrong, we are on tomorrow state. But it doesn't matter because it's all text. You can move the clocking drawer to the task where it should belong and everything is fine. So you see, you have a very nice time tracking feature inside old mode. It's helpful if you really want to know how much time am I spending on something, on some tasks, on a small project, on whatever. And this is just uh, the beginning because now this what you have here, uh, your display is just an IMAX overlay and you get rid of it by pressing Ctrl C twice CC and it's gone or we put it back again Ctrl C XD and we are here. But tomorrow we will go then into column view and then I show you a column view where you see the uh, summed up times and so on. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for listening and for watching and see you tomorrow or whenever I have time to record the next episode. Hope you enjoy it still and uh, thanks for all the comments and thumbs up and, and uh, subscriptions to my YouTube channel. I'll be back soon, so stay tuned.